Productivity becomes easy when you know what you're doing. I just don't think enough coaches are writing and saying things that they really believe and think. How can I be more passionate about your job than you are? Mike's been working on a little secret project. In this video, we are going to talk to you about how to boost your productivity to ensure maximum efficiency within your online fitness business. Oh, some big words there. Hey guys. Got to use the big words, see? Yeah, always use the big words. Yeah. Assimilate. Assimilate, that you know. The one, mm, one. Assimilate you know. all the nutrients. Hey guys, we're Dan and Mike from Business and Banter and we're here to help you with your online fitness business in any way that we can. And we today we're going to talk about way you can boost your productivity. Subscribe. That's one way you can do it. Um, the second way you can boost your productivity Like is this video. Do that as well. Um, and check out the members group while you're there because the link's right there to watch yeah. um, is actually going to be probably not related to productivity in the general sense everyone talks about oh a morning routine or you need to have productivity or you need to have a what is it the the 25 minutes on 5 minute off routine blah 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 or just don't take the 5 minutes off just keep working um, loads of ways of doing it but um they, you know, people are always looking for these productivity hacks and all this sort of stuff. And, and for us, we've always never really found productivity a, a problem. We've never found it an issue to kind of crack on with work and do stuff. Um, and a huge part of that comes from the fact that we know who we're talking to. And I think a lot of coaches, the reason that they lack productivity, they lack direction, they lack the passion, is that they don't really know who they're talking to. They don't really know what content they're creating. They don't really know what they want to say. And they end up just blending into the crowd and they sit there then with writer's block, not knowing what to say because they don't have anything internally within them that they feel like they really need to say on a daily basis. Um, and I think that's something that we've always been quite good at. Mike's been working on a little secret project. Oh, <laughs> not that type of no, yeah it's not anything. I have it's only fans yeah um, no it's not subscribe. taken off yet no subscribers yet yeah, though, no. which is weird um, nobody's coming in yeah uh, the minute no leads coming in so um, yeah I have uh, as we as we as we sit here today um, on the 19th of March I started a new um, a new Instagram profile um, and I started it on the 12th so this is the 7th day um, the Sabbath. You so know. You're going a week, isn't it? A week. 34 posts. In a week? In a week. No Thir- 34 in a week. Alongside the, the seven on my usual page. So I've made 41 posts this week. Um, whilst and, and, and also, they, they are, by the way, completely useless for you. Not going to bring you any additional work. Oh, yeah, completely useless. Maybe maybe Harry can um, can can stick up the, the, the page. It's called anti.fitnesscoach because I wanted anti-fitness coach but somebody's taken it but um, they're not very anti-fitness either yeah no, no. I couldn't really find the page but somebody was taking it and obviously I weren't going to split hairs as it's a page I'm never going to use to get any clients but it's anti.fitnesscoach I set the bio up um, I made the profile photo look okay um, I've got a half decent um, lead magnet or idea for lead magnet um, and I've posted 34 times and the only things um that I've used from previous is we've used a couple of the clips from spoof videos and I've obviously had to use my old results because I'm not currently working with enough you know clients to, 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 to deliver that amount of results in terms of fat loss but everything else so I've created c- case studies from scratch on clients I've created client quotes from scratch and the templates I've created the branding I've created um, caption posts, so little kind of like bitey, witty caption posts. I've created carousels and their templates from scratch. I've created one, two, um, three, four, um, five. I've created five reels this week from scratch on top of the old reels as well. Um, and that's alongside coaching 115 clients for the week. Um, having a members call on a Monday, having a one-to-one call on a Thursday, having a team call on a Monday. Um, consultation calls? Uh, two consultation calls a day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, last week. That's on, that's on top of that. Every single caption I've written, so even if it is an old testimonial, um, an old picture, I have made a point of not copying and pasting the caption. I've made the caption from scratch. Um, with a good hook, with good pain points, with good problem solving, with good CTAs. I've made everything from scratch. And the point isn't to go, look at me, look how good I am. Um, it's a little bit. That, that's, a, that's a little bit. That's what he wants. He wants um, to, yeah. yeah. But the point is, is that, and this is what one of our talks is going to be about at our event, which should, if this is going to after the event, it's already been. 
The point is, is to show people that when you know what you're talking about in terms of who you're trying to deliver the content to, what personal branding that you're going to deliver it in, what style you're going to deliver it in, um, how to make good copy, how to make good hooks, that that's just how productive you can be when you learn these things. Because it, it's got to a point where we'll have people that post five or six times and they'll just don't know what to do with their day. And I, I, I'm just like, well, I'm going to get to this. So as we see here now, there's 34 posts in a week. Um, by the time that the, the month is up, so I started a month before the event, I will hopefully have over 100 posts, which is quite a task. If you think about that, that's three posts every day minimum, for, well, over three posts a day minimum for that time, whilst keeping mine running, whilst doing all my updates, whilst getting absolutely zero gain out of it. But hopefully I get there and hopefully that's done. Um, and I will do it because I've committed to doing it. The point is to show just how much you can actually get done and that you're telling yourself that you don't have time. You're telling yourself you can't get it done. You're telling yourself you've got no ideas for content. Because how can I eventually, well, how can I have 34 ideas for content thus, uh, thus far and maybe 100 ideas for content to a demographic I don't work with anymore in an industry that I'm not really actively kind of pushing towards? How, and I think if people go and look at that page, just be honest about your own page and look at it and go, do I think that my page has got more chance of getting a client than your page? And just be honest about it. Some of you might go, no, like your page could, could well be better than that. It's not perfect, um, obviously, because I've got another job. Um, but I reckon over half the people that land on that page, I reckon if 50 people go and look at it now, I reckon, over 20, I reckon it'd be better than 25 at least. And it's your job. If you're within that 25 where you go, actually, his page is better than mine, why is it? Because you've got more time than me. So yours should be better than mine. Yeah, I just think the whole productivity thing, like you just said there, it's 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 born about from just a complete lack of direction and a lack of understanding. And like, again, there's a you, you know, counter argument to that. It's like, oh, but it's easy for you, Mike. You know who you're speaking to. You know this sort of stuff. But my my counter to that one would be, yeah, but he doesn't even work in that space anymore for two years. Like, out, you could argue been out of touch of that. And again, obviously, we work with coaches, right? So we're still talking about these sorts of things. But it's because we're still passionate about the same types of anti-fitness, anti-bullshit kind of approach and the way we do things, the way that we're happy to call things out. We make fun of things and spoof things. And it's like, we can still do that. And it doesn't matter what the topic is on. It's a case of like, it's how we would want to do it. And it's our niche and it's us being... I suppose, true to ourselves and, and having our own values, but our own personal branding and, and the way that we would approach stuff. And, and when I speak to coaches, I can tell when coaches are just not posting content that is true to them. I can tell because they go, no, I'm not really sure about that post or no, I'm not really sure what to, what to write in this email. I'm like, okay, cool. We still don't understand who you're talking to then. Because if you did, that would not be a problem. It just wouldn't be an issue. Like I got off, again, yesterday, we had, I had three consultation calls. We had our group call with the members. We had a few other things. We had a team meeting. And off the back of straight after one of those consultation calls, I was sat at dinner. I was doing it because I remember Laura sat there opposite me. And she just, I just said, to her, I've got to write this down because otherwise it would go out of my head. And I just wrote a caption for a post ready to send while I was just while I was having my dinner. And it wasn't like, it's not me saying, oh, I'm grind harder and be better. Like I could have waited, but it was just that it was in my mind. It was like, I need to say this. I need to write this down because it's fresh in my head. It's what I believe. It's what I think I want to say. And I wrote it down. And that was just a post randomly that was just off the back of a few calls of people that just like, I need to say this. This is in my head right now. I need to get it down on paper. And I just don't think enough coaches are writing and saying things that they really believe and think. I just don't think they are. I think that they're manicuring everything. They're making everything perfect. They're trying to make it all spot on and look better and all this sort of stuff. And we do say, look, you need to make things look better, blah, 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 all that sort of stuff. But they're forgetting that fundamentally the message has to be right first. It has to be there first. It has to come from you. It has to be something you really want to say. And that is how you become productive. Like, I'm not saying you should be writing your post over dinner. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that writing posts wouldn't be a problem if you knew exactly who you were talking to. Creating video content won't be a problem if you knew exactly how you wanted to say things, exactly your own style of humor and how you want to be different on Instagram. It wouldn't be a problem. But most coaches are looking at it going, oh, should I do a how to do something in the gym video? Well, yeah, but everyone else is doing that. Everyone else is doing that. Did we ever do that? Not recently, <laughs> right? And it's one of those things where you have to look internally and go, right, what's my identity? What do I think I want to be in this industry? What do I want to stand for? Because you know for a fact what me and Mike stand for. If me and Mike decided in five years' time to run a, uh, fuck it, like, let's, let's say like a property business, like a property portfolio business, whatever, right? And we decided to post content about that. 
Do you think that we would make spoofs, jokey videos, stupid day in the lives? Yeah, we would, because that's the stuff that we enjoy and what we like to do. Like the actual subject matter doesn't actually matter hugely. What matters more is your view of that, your view of the world and posting your opinion on topics. So like we say all the time, that's what's gonna boost your productivity tenfold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the brand. So I just got my phone out there and, and just looked. Just so, texting people. Yeah, just yeah. Bo bored. Boring. Yeah. Um, I know what you No, thinking. because... Be five or six calls. <laughs> Twenty Eastwood, brilliant. Um, yeah, so as Dan said there about he got his phone out whilst he was um, having dinner with Laura, um, something similar happened to me with this account. So I, the, the idea of... For the next event, because I was, we were sat in the evening. Me and uh, my missus were sat in the evening watching TV. Probably married at first sight or something. Brilliant. Um, and it was about nine, half nine, and I was just mulling things over about the event in my head because I find it difficult to switch off. And me and Dan had already had a conversation about what we we're going to present. And then I was just like, it just came to me. I was like, well, what about if I make a a uh, Instagram profile where every single post is what we believe to be good enough or as close to perfect you know for, for what we would want it to do what about if I make a what about if I make a page that I think would genuinely pick up clients if I went and started to build the following on it I genuinely think it would pick up clients and then for the reason of that people can then go onto that page and look at the testimonial and look at the co uh, the copy, look at the caption, look how it's written. That people can look at the the blend of content between some of the funny stuff, the ranty stuff, the serious stuff, the social proof, the spoof, the blend, the mixture, the blend of branding. That the brand that I've used is purple, but it's not purple Canva post, purple Canva post, purple Canva post, and it's like that. It's a little bit of purple purple interspersed so that's the branding i wanted to create something that showed exactly what to do so i just got my phone out there to look because at, at half nine at night i said to her i've just had an idea i need to um, go and write some stuff down you've just triggered that that memory and i've just uh, i've just counted up i made 40 ideas for you know not 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 that i sat down and said i'm going to write 40 but just for some reason it ended up at a round number it was 40 40 ideas of content um, and I wrote the bio that's in the bio now at like half nine at night because it was in my head and 40 ideas of content came to me and that's on top of all of the social proof that will be posted as well so let's just say over the next month I'm going to post 30 bits of social proof that's 70 ideas that I've got just straight away from that half an hour of sat like that's it that, but yet people can't make seven posts a week I had 40 ideas about something I'm not even doing just in my head of different things of different ways of, of putting things over it's like right okay if I'm going to be anti-fitness what are the things that I'm going to kind of call out it's going to be the five pounds of fat it's going to be carrying a plate everywhere it's going to be having something on a wooden spoon okay so what other angle can I go do you know what I'm going to pretend to be a client that's been in with one of these coaches so I'm going to do it like a crime watch thing so it's going to be like a silhouette of me and it's going to be like joined a joined an Instagram online coach and I'm going to talk about my experience it's going to be a, a day in the life of somebody making these funny videos and actually they're a a cunt behind the, the camera and then they switch it on and they're all fucking happy and jolly and they just uh, how, how can we get more clients in it, it's just ideas that, that that would come to you because you know exactly what you should be doing and that's the issue is coaches don't you don't know what you're doing like respectfully because if you did you wouldn't find it difficult to have this flood of ideas like because you should be passionate about something how can I be more passionate about your job than you are half the time? So yeah, it's it's an interesting thing that you said that you just kind of did that. Productivity becomes easy when you know what you're doing. The reason why you're struggling with productivity now is because you, you've got no direction. It's because people also try and plan it in. And like by its, by, by its very nature, I just don't think you can plan productivity. I just think it happens. It, it's, you just become better over time. It's a skill that you practice in, like whether it's at half six at night, half nine at night, nine o'clock. The problem is coaches sit down and go, right, I've got to create content this two hours for the whole week. I'm like, it's not going to work like that. It's just not going to, yeah, you can plan the time in to have it set aside to do some bits and bobs, but you might have to create content at seven o'clock at night because an idea comes to you and all that sort of stuff. But the other point I wanted to make about Mike's account is that if Mike didn't even have his face on it, you would know it was Mike's account. 
Yeah. If Mike didn't put his face on it and he just called it anti fitness coach and he posted the stuff from reading the captions and reading the posts and, and all that sort of stuff, you would know it was his. You'd know. And that's the problem with, with a lot of the stuff with coaches is that, again, the productivity part of this, again, it might sound a bit weird, it's a bit clickbaity because we know people want to increase their productivity, but it comes from a lack of understanding who you really are and what you really want to say in, in, to help people. That That is it. In, in my opinion, that is it because I know a lot of coaches have got all these great ideas that they just don't ever get them out. They just don't ever do it because they're worried about what people are going to say or what people are going to do. And it's just like, that's the thing that's holding you back from being more productive. That's the thing that you're... You, you know you're stressing about it. it's not about how many words you can write in an hour or how many words you can get on an email in in 30 minutes it's not about that it's really not about that it's about where that comes from most of it is most, most of it is there. it's in there it's all in there um I, i'm forever writing little things down little notes little things that i want to talk about that i want to expand upon so that we sit and we never run out of ideas like even coming to this podcast, right? We filmed three or four videos back to back. We've written the, the notes down days before, right? We're gonna talk about this topic. We don't have to write one line and we go, right, yeah, that's what we're gonna say. That's what we're gonna say. That's what we're gonna say. It's not scripted. There's no scripts here. There's nothing like we're, we're ranting about, raving about that's written out. We just literally go in between these cuts. We go- Put it down there if it's obvious. Put it in here, put it down there. We just talk about the next thing that's on our mind that we've seen this week that we wanna talk about in our own way, in our own style. Why aren't you doing that? Talking about styles, have you watched The Gentleman yet? Have you started it? No. So too busy, ne- too busy making content, mate. Ne- Netflix series. Um, oh yeah. Also, I can make all that content, by the way, and I'm six episodes into in two days into a Netflix series. Yeah, you've um, got enough time to watch Netflix. You'd be at the gym, mate, shouldn't you? Yeah. Sure. Uh, That's what you say. That's what they say, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, so watching Slacking that, it's a it's a it's a Guy Ritchie um, it's a Guy Ritchie series. Um, I would have known it was Guy Ritchie if I if I hadn't been told. Put it that way. So it's the same thing that Dan has just said about my content. You'd know it was me. I would know it would be him, like or somebody emulating him, because of the style of how it's shot. It's very similar to the films that he's done previous, like Lock, Stock, and Snatch. Similar themes. It's gangster stuff that he uses travelers quite a lot. Like there's elements of comedy in there. It's really soft, but it's like it's almost like a drama style dark comedy. It's clear and obvious. Is it the same style writing on the title and stuff yeah. as well? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Know, yeah, same writing, yeah. same brand, and it. Again, because I know that I like Guy Ritchie films, I know that I'm going to like that. So what do I go and do? I go and watch it. With coaches, they don't have that. Coaches don't... It's all over the place. Yesterday I had a consultation with somebody, and it's not his fault, because obviously he's been in a mentorship that didn't tell him to, to do anything right. He wants to work with guys to get in photo shoot shape, but one of his pin posts is about losing 10 stone. Like, just two things straight off the bat there where they don't add up just two things I could see as soon as I go on the page physique transformation specialist somebody lost 10 stone and it's like okay it's a good result and it should be posted but should it be pinned or if he's a physique tra- transformation specialist should it be three photo shoot style shots like should probably be that still celebrate somebody's journey for doing so well but just stuff like that there's no like there's just no brand there's no consistency there's no like clear direction there's no here's what I want to produce and why I want to produce it because the page that I've made isn't to everybody's taste, and that's fine, and that's the point of it. It's to my taste. So the people that yeah. do that sit there at the event and do find some of the captions funny, that do go, actually, that would make me want to sign up. Actually, th- that is good that he's calling these people out that haven't got the confidence to do it, that it'd be those people that it would attract. And I genuinely believe that if I made this account, I could sign people up, probably at a quicker rate than half the coaches out there, 50% above. Hmm. So there you go. Yeah, and that's, that's it. Like, I, th- I think it, it comes back to things we talk about, again, within the members group, you know, around personal branding, around knowing your niche, around understanding all this stuff. The reason we're so heavy on that and so big on it is because it's fundamental to your future growth, to being more productive, to having that better business. And I think that coaches always a little bit, oh, maybe no, a bit annoyed when they first come in and they've got to do this groundwork and lay down this, this groundwork and do the fundamentals on it. But every single person that's gone to be successful has done that and they are now in a position where they don't find content creation difficult they don't struggle for leads they don't struggle for ideas um years down the line they've got the business they want and it's it's fundamental it has to be done um it's as fundamental to growing a business as the calorie deficit is to fat loss it's like and you bang on about that all the time start banging on about your own personal branding start banging on about what you believe in your thoughts your feelings your opinions and you may just find that uh, your business grows quicker than it ever has done so yeah join the members group links below come join us that's everything. See you in a bit. Here we go.